The Docker extension for VS Code by Microsoft has a lot of handy features when it comes to generating the files necessary for building and deploying Docker containers. Let's go ahead and create a Docker file that we can use to build a new container image. First I'll create a new file in my workspace called Docker file. Inside my Docker file I'll hit control space to bring up a list of snippets that are available with the Docker extension. The first thing I need to do is specify the image that I'm going to be building from. Here, I'll specify the latest Microsoft IIS image, which I have already downloaded. Now let's copy some files to the new container image by using the copy snippet. I'm going to specify the www root folder that is currently in my workspace as the source. Then I'll hit tab to move to the next field in the snippet, where I'll specify my www root folder on the container as the destination. Finally, I'm going to expose port 80 and then save this Docker file. Now that I'm finished, I can actually build my container image right from VS Code instead of using the command line. Simply right click on the Docker file, then click on Build Image. We'll be prompted to tag the new image. I'm going to use the default tag and hit Enter. You'll see the Docker build command running in the terminal below. Once that's done, I'm going to click on the Docker icon in the activity bar on the left hand side and we can see the new container image listed under images. Let's go ahead and right click that and run this container. Now that it's running, I want to attach a shell so that I can get this container's IP address. When I take that IP address and put it in my web browser, you can see that the website is running on the new container. Thanks to the Docker extension for VS Code, we were able to easily author, deploy, and run a new container in very little time. Thanks for watching.